I think the rest of the world has already been on these devices for a long time. I think it's us who's catching up to the rest of the world. I lived out in Asia for a long time and cell phone dependability um, and quality was much higher, much, much, much higher. I remember being in Hong Kong and seeing guys pushing the little, you know, food carts and, you know, having their cell phones and this is in, you know, 1996. You're seeing farmers in India spend up to five, six, ten percent of their you know, just take home pay on, 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 on their mobile phone. And these are little feature phones with very basic uh, access to texting and so on. So for emerging markets, you have three layers. You have your first world smartphones as we know them. You have a little bit more hybridized, so feature phones plus smartphones. And then of course you have feature phones. In emerging markets, you, you see a lot more feature phones in part because, you know, they're just better priced. Just mobile phones and so on, uh, inexpensive ones. In emerging markets, places like India and China, it's just, it's just extraordinary to see. Yeah, entire ecosystems of services are developing around this stuff. They're allowing a lot of these uh, populations to leapfrog just a whole array of infrastructure that uh, didn't get developed in, in these places. What a great time to be an entrepreneur, whether in the United States or India or China. In the United States, what seems like an add-on is everything in the developing world. They're coming into this, none of the other baggage that we had to go through over 30, 40 years. They're picking up a phone and it's magical. I was in Africa last week and was fascinated by the mobile payment system that has taken root there. Uh, and people ask why, you know, how could it be so fast? Well, it helps when you didn't have anything before it. Uh, so, you know, uh, these things are happening at, at breakneck speed today. Mobile technologies can reach all nooks and crannies of the globe and offer the kinds of benefits that uh, only such technologies can do. What's super exciting is the rest of the world is getting these smartphones for the very first time. And so what we take for granted, for entrepreneurs in the rest of the world, we've got to be thinking about that. You've got to think bigger. You've got to think of that mobile product and it's going to touch people from around the world. Global revolutions were started using text and Facebook and, and Twitter, etc. Things like Facebook will continue to proliferate in, in the emerging markets. There will be some opportunities for Twitter. Almost three quarters of their user base is coming from outside the US. So clearly these lightweight uh, applications that don't consume uh, a lot of data will continue to proliferate in emerging markets.